We made it to Friday, and guess what? It's a new month too. Happy March! I'm Spencer Walter, and I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the counseling center to attend these visits. Check this out. Mark your calendar for next Wednesday, March 6th, when you can chat with the reps from PPCC. On Thursday, March 7th, the reps from Adams State scheduled a visit with us, and then on March 13th, the reps from Simpson College in Indianola, Iowa, are scheduled to visit. March 13th is also the date for the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program Open House. The event is from 5.30 to 6.30 at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this cosmetology program, your parents have to be there too. Stop by the Counseling Center for more information. Another cosmetology school, the Paul Mitchell School, will visit us right before spring break on March 21st. And then April college visits kick off on the 17th when the Western Colorado University reps are scheduled to visit. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Juniors, WHS is once again hosting an SAT test prep seminar on Saturday, March 23rd. If you would like to attend, the cost of the seminar is $89. Juniors, you should also see registration materials in the mail very soon. And seniors, you can also sign up, but you need to see Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center to do that. Seniors, remember to stop by the Counseling Center to pick up your Herf Jones announcements. Mrs. Abeta will take care of you. Just be sure to bring your photo ID. When we return from the break, we will have some information on the WHS Engineering Showcase. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Isaac Fleet. Good Friday morning. Since it's a new month, Glads, let's the madness begin. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Congratulations are in order for senior Ryan Owler. Yesterday afternoon, Ryan signed his letter of intent to run cross country and track at Western Colorado University. Ryan will be joining the Mountaineers in the fall and will study biology. Make us proud, Ryan. As of tomorrow, the military ball is exactly two weeks away on March 16th. Festivities begin at 1800 hours at Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. If you have a military ID, you do not need to do anything else to grant you access to the base. If you do not have access to the base, you will need to provide a driver's license number and state of issue of the person driving to the dance by today to the officer in charge. Remember, this is a formal event, so the uniform of the day is formal attire. Spring sports practices are in full swing this week. Check in with your coaches for practice times and locations. Ladies, Coach Sardina is looking for a few great players for her soccer teams, and she welcomes all experience levels. Practices start at 3.30 on the upper north practice field by the stadium. See Coach Sardina in room 130 with any questions. In forensics news, the team is hard at work for their state competition this month. We'll have more information as the date gets closer. Ultimate Frisbee team. If you did not make it to the meeting with Mr. Nell yesterday, pop by room 116 to see him for details of the meeting you missed. Glads, remember, Damon's dose of health is off for a few weeks to allow Mr. and Mrs. Damon to spend some much needed time with their new arrival. Congratulations on the new baby. In baseball news, our Glads have been working hard on refreshing their skills on the diamond this spring. Go out and watch them showcase their early talents on Saturday with two scrimmages at the Grace Center. The boys will square up against St. Mary's at 9 a.m., then take on the Lewis Palmer Rangers at 11 a.m. Come out and scout your favorite Glad for the season. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the news desk with Spencer and Ethan. Thanks for that update, Isaac. Ladies, it's not too late to set up an appointment with Miss Ford or Mrs. HK to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. The military ball is about two weeks out and prom is in April. Remember, these dresses are free and yours to keep. Glads, did you know the library no longer charges overdue fines? That's right. You can keep your books as long as you like without having to worry about paying overdue fees. Remember, you do eventually have to return your books, but you're off the hook for late fees. Of course, if you lose or damage the book, then you will have a fine to pay. Come check out all the new changes in the library, including their graphic novel section. And now we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody! Hey, what's up? What's up? What are you doing? Getting ready for lunch? Getting ready to help out with the kitchen, make your lunch for these kids. For these kiddos. Kiddos, lunch. Lunch. We're having smothered burritos today with green and red chili sauce. Hey, won't we smother that with green and red chili sauce? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Their choice? Their choice. Green and red. 
some other burrito. And on Monday we're having meatloaf. Meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy. Meatloaf on Monday. Monday meatloaf. Yeah. Can you hey. smother that with green or red chili? Barbecue sauce. Barbecue? Oh, okay. I like barbecue sauce. I like chili sauce. National School Breakfast Week. Next week. Is the next week, and uh, there'll be a lot of fun prizes. So if you come and have breakfast, you're automatically entered to win. <gasps> Thanks and have prizes. Bye, prizes. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. If you need to add money to your account, please see Miss Betsy in, in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, check the test prep flyers in your classrooms with the date and content for the test prep sessions happening next week. Sign up in the library for those Thursday sessions. Oh, and we'd like to remind all students to return any scheduling cards to the Counseling Center. If you do not return your scheduling card to the Counseling Center, you may not get the classes you want next year. The musical theater production of Little Women will be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see how the March sisters handle life in the Civil War through music. And finally, we have some aspiring engineers at WHS, and if you've ever wondered who the next engineering genius will be, you should come find out at the WHS Engineering Showcase. Mark April 25th on your calendars for the Senior Project Presentation, where you can check out all the projects and activities from all the engineering classes, including aerospace, civil, architectural, intro, and principles. The event will take place in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. That's all we have for you today, GLADS. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.